What's going on you guys? It's me once again and today is Thursday, June. I do not know the exact date, but does it does it really matter? Anyway, I'm thinking I'm not doing some a lot today, but you know I, I want I felt like blogging so why not? Um anyway, the whole lighting situation, I have to hold my camera like this right now because if I do this, you see the light, it's like right behind me. And you know if you know about lighting then you know that you have to have the light in front of you that way you get better lighting lightning <laughs> that way you get better lighting right so what I was thinking is I was gonna grab that light over there and put it over here in this corner that way I just turn it on whenever I need to blog and or talk to the camera and I don't look so horrible. I'm already ugly. I don't need that lighting making me look 10 times worse, right? Um, so anyway, right now, I was looking at some, I was on YouTube, I was looking at some vlogs. Few people. Um, you know, Casey being one of, I watch his videos every day. Everyone, every single day that he posts, I watch him. So shout out to Casey. And also I was watching this guy, his name, he goes by Neem's Blogs. And um, his vlogs are pretty interesting. I started watching them since he started his channel, and it's grown so much. And I um, shout out to him, um, you know, for for just putting out videos. I think they're he's just a pretty interesting guy to watch. So right now, what I'm gonna do is probably clean my room, clean my room a little bit, and then I'm gonna head to my grandpa's house to go see my little nephew because. Yeah, just want to see him today, and but I want to show you guys something. All right, let me just check that out. That is like a little gift from my dad. The story is he brought it from Chicago. He bought it from this like old house, you know the I guess the people there passed away, and they were selling everything, and this was one of the items in there. And uh, I guess the guy wanted like two hundred or something for it. Which I would have paid for, but, you know. Um, my dad being a good negotiator, he talked him down to 100 and brought it from over there and kept it here. At my grandpa's house for a while until I asked him about it. You know, he told me the story and then one day he just told me if, he, if I wanted it and I was like, yeah. And um, I actually didn't pick it up until two days ago. So, and it works. I think it's just missing some buttons that went there. And like the little glass thing. He said it was like a plastic, like a hard kind of plastic that covered that. But that, I think that can be replaced pretty easy. I don't know about the buttons. I still think it's a very cool stereo. It works. You know, it's, uh, I believe from the 1930s. If I'm wrong, then if you know the correct year, then go ahead and write it in the comment section. But, check this out. That's cool. That's like 1930s technology. It's pretty awesome, right? So, anyway, I like antiques. I'm gonna show you guys some of the few that I do own. The first one would be this camera. I got this from like a yard sale thingy. I just like the look of it and it opens up. I guess that's where the film went. It even has the little instructions there. So, very cool. You know, I like the look of it because there's a lot, there's other cameras that look like this, but they're just plain. I like the, this one because it has like, you know, it has like the little, little lines here. It has like the, the branding and then this little red thing. So, I thought it was cool. This is something I wouldn't sell. Um, very special to me. Had it for many years and, yeah. Another thing that I was able to get was like this little, this little lamp. Right here. I don't know if this is like a table or a desk lamp. I'm not even sure. I'm using it as a table lamp right now. But this is kind of like a just like a simple, just like a little simple light, you know, nothing to it, just a light. And that's the reason that I liked it because it was simple. Yeah, like I said, I don't know. I don't own a lot of antiques, but um, I've always been into them. You know, I like to go into the stores, just check out the antiques and just. Kind of like a little museum, you know? So, I'm thinking of doing videos like that, you know? 
like going into antique shops and just checking out the stuff and showing you guys, bringing you guys along with me. Tell me if that would be a good idea. Um, anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share that story with you guys. I thought it was pretty awesome. And right now, I'm just going to get ready so I can head to my grandpa's house and spend some time with my little nephew. See you guys in a little bit. Okay. Alright, you guys, this is my little nephew. What's your name? Eddie Marcus Ramos. Yup, that's my little nephew and uh, he wants to go on his bicycle, so we're going to go do that. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go. And what are you going to do right now? Mm, ride my bike. Yeah? What kind of bike is that? Captain America. Alright, let's go. Are you having fun? Yeah. I did my guess Ramos. I didn't ask you what your name was. Say what's up. Like this piece. Like this. Look. Go like this. Go like this. Now put these down and leave these two. No, not those. These. Okay, look at my hand. These, see these right here? No, no, not that one. Hold on. <laughs> these two. See, these two right here. Hold these with this one. There we go. Put this one like this. That's it, peace. peace. There we go. Let's check out the pond. Whoa, that's green. Okay, so. There was fish in here. I don't know if they still live there. What color is that water? Green. Let's see if we can see any fishes. Are they still in there? No. No? Who said? Oh, there's a bee. I'm out of here. I hate bees. Let's try to find the bird. There he is. It was fun growing up here because of all the trees. I used to pretend it was like a jungle. My grandmother, rest in peace, she loved plants. So that was like her thing. She always, this is nothing compared to what she had when she was alive. And that's Grace right there. Comes out of nowhere. Anyway, we're gonna, what do you wanna play? So this is playing hide and go seek with him. He thinks he's hiding. He beat you. Huh? What happened? You were supposed to be faster than him. I went to get. All right, give me five. 